just got the, all the power. Wait, why isn't it all right, here we go. We get into game number one. Um, what? So, like, obviously, we already know what Grayson's been looking for, right? It's pretty straightforward of what you want to do against a boxing character like this. But we've also seen Leon, like, eat a lot of zoners alive in a way that you don't normally see people handle it with big bodies like this. Like, I believe Leon lifetime against, like, Sinji and Pac-Man's is, like, ridiculously good. So what do you see Leon doing, other than what we're seeing right now, just kind of just completely smothering Grayson in this matchup? Never mind! I, I mean, we I, see I, it all! I, I we think, see it all! <laughs> I, I don't think I need to say anything else. You just kind of... So the thing about all zoners is they almost all have poor disadvantage states, right? And that's what Leon's really good at. He just kind of abuses this match. Like he's, the thing about Leon is he's so good at sniffing out if people are scared or not. Like, yeah. he'll be able to tell, like, what you're going to do in your defensive spots, when you're going to use defensive options versus offensive options. And, like, obviously, you have to be good at mind games to play Bowser. But I think you know particularly... He like pushes what you need to push as Bowser, which is the fear factor. You know, I never thought about it this way until you just said that. You know who else has a play style that's very similar to that fear type style? Mars. Mars does the same exact thing and just like snipes out like that fear, but Leon does it with a much bigger, stronger character. Yeah, so Mars plays characters that kind of like can't push that advantage too well, but like can do that bit more neutral. Where Leon mm -hmm. does char plays characters just like all advantage same when it comes to that. Because yeah, like the neutral Bowser ridiculous. is like. I think like the neutral for Bowser is kind of, it's more so your opponent making mistakes than Bowser like having the best tools to win neutral. It's just that Bowser has tools to punish mistakes that people will make. But like if someone yeah. played perfectly, the Bowser player should never win, is kind of my thought of it. No, I agree. And I, honestly, the way that like, it, it really a big part of it is just that confidence in those decisions. Like you've seen like, Leon has consistently punished over and over again. Good job not moving out of there, by the way. <laughs> just not only not mashing, but Grayson not pulling the trigger to go and chase a potential mash. What is that interaction? Oh my god, well, <laughs> What was all of that? <laughs> uh, so today we're going to game two with uh, Leon up 1-0. It's just a, uh, just a prediction right here. You know, it's not guaranteed, but like my 8-ball, my magic 8-ball in mind, so Leon yeah. will win this game. I, I think I think you're uh, you're, def you're definitely playing the good odds here. <laughs> I agree. What? Uh, the, all right. All right. All right. All right. What was that hitbox? Why? Why was that? Just, 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 just Rob. You know, <laughs> Rob, Rob, Rob hitboxes are a thing of beauty. That, okay then. He's just. All right. You know what? That game didn't count. You know, that was just a. Uh, Grayson all wants to give Leon a game to make this more challenging for himself. Yeah. You know what's crazy? Like we Le like Leon caught quite a few of those back airs. But it was so heavily conditioned by the how many times Grayson got hit by side B. Like, Leon mixes, like, Leon's 50-50 on landing of getting you with a command grab or a potential kill option is so scary. But in the moment, you, you don't think about it sometimes. It's like, if I take command grab, I won't die here. But I'm also scared of taking command grab because I can't take more damage. Whereas that back air is going to KL. So it's, like, risk management is so hard against somebody who pressures like the way Leon does. Yep. And like sometimes it's just guessing. When you find a character like Bowser, the biggest thing is a lot of those types of moves, like the back air, the uh, the side B, they all work on people being a little bit afraid of you. But if you try to challenge them a bit more aggressively, Bowser can punish that with like up the out of shield. But he can't mm -hmm. like kill you in the same way. So you have to be very confident in like saying, no Bowser, you don't get to press your slower buttons on your bigger frame. I'm going to mess you up even on my kill sense. <laughs> true, true. Actually, I think that's like the first solid LB we've seen out of Leon there. Hey, cat. Oh my god, catch it <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Leon. Alright, you got it. Alright, you, you know what? Honestly, I'm throwing, I'm throwing all deep logical thought processes that I have out of the way. Anything I'll try to be analytical about is done, man. <laughs> yeah, we're doing analysis. We don't need that. We just need to watch Leon do his, uh, his thing. This man is smacking <laughs> Grayson around <laughs> so Bro. bad right now. I like Grayson, I think. I I, I want to I really want to see the adjustment to Grayson just because I I just love seeing longer matches and seeing people adjust. But like. I love these. Le Leon's crap. in his head right now, and you you gotta you gotta slow down the game. Like you almost gotta get lame here. Like I love watching three O's like this. This is hilarious, right? It's just like, <laughs> bro, this is absolute slow. This is like winners finals. These like, everyone else. <laughs> Eighty five. He's dying. That was perfect. He didn't even wait for the roll. He just did it. Yeah, just assume. I mean, like, what, what's what's the risk there too, right? You're at zero percent fresh stock. Okay, if zero you... forty eight. We're right at the bat. Yo. Okay, okay. Yo, go for Oh, I'll go for He's, he's going for it. Yeah, if, if Grayson suicide. tried to recover early, I 100% believe that Leon was going to try to go down there and do something. Yeah, I was thinking suicide side B, but that won't work. Maybe just back. Legit. Take that and just double jump back right at him. 
Yeah, Bowser can surprisingly go pretty deep too, speaking of double jump back here. Mm -hmm. Oh, and a Bowser. Just barely missed it. Like, recovery goes kind of far. Ooh, he also gets knocked off stage pretty far, but charge far. Oh, finished. there you go, that's the jump. Oh, what that oh, was? Oh, it doesn't punish. I think he just there thought that was a kill, and then Bowser gets charged. Oh, okay. There we go. That's a kill right there. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Get, catching the high recovery. He caught him with the low recovery the last couple times. So it's like, okay, I'm going to go high this time. Yep. But even so, just like he wastes. Leon wastes no time. Or, like, you're already at kill percent. F tilt's getting, coming to the ledge. There it is. Yep. Almost dead. And Flame Breath is basically free damage. At this point, yeah, Grace is at kill percent to everything. Yeah, if you catch. Um, yeah, four yeah, the ledge should KL. Yeah, wow. there we go. Forward air 100%. Kind of surprised that forward connected. That looked like a feeling he was going to miss, but I think what happened is mm -hmm. when Rob's doing like the gy gyro charge, the forward hit his hand because he extends his hand during the charge yep. a little bit. Wow. Honestly, and that was such a smart call from Leon right there too, right? Because at kill percent there, we were just talking about the forward throw in your head. It's like, well, I got called out by roll before. And then I can't go for a spot dodge because he's probably looking for something here. So most of the time, the panic option is put Gyro out. And Leon is like, okay, well, I'm going to cover you with uh, Gyro. I'm going to cover a jump. I'm going to cover a short hop forward air. Because even if the forward air trades with me and you don't die, I have you back off stage again. So that, that, was, good, that was good awareness from Leon in that position too. One other thing to mention about that actually, is even if he gets hit by like something like, say, a Rob forward air instead of trading, He's yep. at such low percents, he's gonna be able to like mash an up to a forward tilt. So it's like the forward air is a threat. The forward air actually would win Leon the game if he gets hit by it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's like an all... option. Yeah, and, he, and honestly, stage positioning wouldn't even have been that bad there either because you get hit by that forward air there, right? He goes barely to center stage. So you're still in the corner. Yeah. Also, I, I understand why Grayson probably picked FD. But this is surprisingly not a good pick against. No, this Leon. is an amazing Bowser stage. <laughs> Bowser loves yeah. FD. Because Bowser doesn't really do anything with platforms. Mm. And like, the, the stage feels. It's... Okay, that works. There you go. <laughs> yeah, <the stage laughs> that's, a, that's a good start. The stage feels kind of small versus character like Bowser, who controls so much space when you mm -hmm. can't like jump around him and get extra height. So, yeah, this is not a great pick, but at the same I time, mean, Grayson just took the lead finally. So, you know, maybe I should shut up. Oh, catch his elbow. That should be a kill. And that was a kind of a throw in the kill. Just simply yeah, that, maybe... that was a that was a commitment to stage positioning right there. Like it just if, if maybe waiting an extra second might have gotten something out of it, but still, I mean, he's already got the lead, so this is working better. Okay, um, there he has a kill. Just calls out Grayson being afraid, and you just kind of hovering. Grayson was expecting such an aggressive option, but it's Leon. It, it's like I'm not sure if Grayson's fought Leon before, but kind of looks like he has it with how he's just hit, getting hit by all the Leon stuff. Exactly. And honestly, I think we're finally starting to see uh, Grayson play the way that you need to play in this matchup on this stage. Because, like, <laughs> you, you can't commit too hard. You got you got to do those nears on the side. You got to, like, you have to play really lame, and that's what's fortunate to say, but you have to play lame here around this point to make it so Leon jumps a bunch, and then you can punish him. The thing is, I don't need more to play lame. I think Leon's been punishing the lame play. I think Grayson needs to play a bit more aggressively and, like, challenge him, abuse his poor frame data, or, like, not the best frame data. Abuse the fact that his big body and he's in the corner and he sucks. You don't want to let Bowser play his offense. You need to make. I him agree. Play I'm just so I, I like. I think it's just the way that like Leon's been so good at covering pretty much everything. It's like that fear of yeah. like that pressure game has been so on point. Yeah, uh, Leon's just kind of destroying him in terms of like outplaying him in oh, these situations. But like, I feel like overall, like most of these exchanges, Leon's just playing it better. Like you know, yeah. he messes the ledge up, but he doesn't die for it. For example, yeah, I'm, and, like here he just. Picks the right option, and it's like Grayson that was that was mash option. wake up DP if I ever seen one right there. Just get up with F tilt, uh, but really like it just comes down to that sometimes in those situations. Like on paper everything can make sense, but it's all an application, and just the way that Leon's been able to to just deal with this stuff. He's going for, he's going for a heavy read soon. He's I go smell it. He's going yep. for a heavy read. Yep. Oh my god! <laughs> one hundred three. Should go for an up air. Oh no, that looked like a free up air too. But he likes on for backers. Every Bowser player loves backer because it's so satisfying mm -hmm. to land, right? It really is. It, it's like, and also you can kind of like fade pretty well with it too, so. has a lot of range. Dude, rising backer, like short hop rising backer hits really far. And I think it auto cancels as long as you don't fastball it. That, I, that, I'm not 100% sure. So. I, I, I actually, that's, that's frightening. <laughs> yeah. But offices hit shorter characters and like, it's still enough to punish like I'm with. They don't like space it well. Yeah, it, it oh, depends on the back here. Speaking of back here, yeah, yeah, 105% there it is. mid stage. Good the eye. Yeah, you're dead. And I believe uh, I'm pretty sure that the graphics incorrect because Leon was up. Was that is that just the second game? Has this oh, set oops, only I, been? I didn't, I didn't update. It might be. Has it only gone to second game, or is that that that, that, that was three up? Yeah. 